Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with a center of fully inscribed uh, in a blue square uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, A, C is the diagonal of this uh, blue square along with these uh, two chords uh, E, F and uh, F, P and as a result we are ended up with this uh, angle X and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, angle uh, EFP that is being represented by X. And here I can see two possible approaches to calculate the value of uh, X. And here's our very first approach. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points uh, M and F as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, M, F and P are our uh, three distinct points on a circle where the line uh, MP is the diameter, then the angle uh, M, F, P is a right angle. In other words, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So no wonder this angle uh, MFP is our 90 degree angle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole angle is uh, our 90 degree angle. And this uh, angle is our angle X. And if I label this tiny angle as our angle uh, theta, then we can see that our angle X is going to be equal to 90 degrees minus this tiny angle theta. And now our task is to find the value of this angle theta. And now my question is, can you find the angle theta by using this very first approach? Please leave the comments below. And here's my alternative approach. And now let's focus on this uh, blue square A, B, C, D. And we can see all these uh, interior angles are uh, our 90 degree angles. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, F. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, O, P is the radius of this uh, circle and likewise uh, this uh, OF uh, is the radius of the very same circle as well. So therefore uh, this radius uh, OF is going to be equal to this radius uh, OP. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these points uh, E and G as well. As you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this crucial fact. The centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder all these points uh, E, this center O and this point G lie on the very same line. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. As you can see in this given diagram, and here's our radius and here's our tangent line. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. And now let's revert our attention back to our original problem. And we can see all these uh, angles are going to be our 90 degree angles. Since uh, these are our radii and these uh, lines are our tangent lines. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, EO is the radius of this circle. So therefore uh, this uh, radius uh, EO is going to be equal to this uh, radius uh, OF. So therefore we can see that this uh, side uh, AF is going to be equal to this side uh, EO and likewise uh, this side uh, EA is going to be equal to this side uh, OF. And since uh, all these uh, interior angles are our 90 degree angles, so therefore uh, this angle uh, EOF uh, is going to be a 90 degree angle as well. And now let's focus on this uh, square uh, EAFO. 
and we can see that this uh, a o and this uh, e f -O are the diagonals of this uh, square e a f o so therefore we can see that this angle is going to be our 45 degrees uh, angle likewise uh, this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well likewise this angle is going to be our uh, 45 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle uh, e f o is uh, our 45 degree angle and if i label uh, this uh, tiny angle uh, as our angle uh, alpha and we know our this uh, whole angle is uh, x so therefore this angle x is going to be equal to 45 degrees plus this tiny angle alpha so therefore i can write uh, that this angle x is going to be equal to 45 degrees plus our tiny angle alpha and now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, tiny angle alpha and i'm going to label this uh, as our equation uh, number one and now let's focus on this uh, triangle pof and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length both are our radii so therefore if this angle is alpha then this uh, angle has got to be alpha as well and now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite interior angles as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see our this angle uh, c is uh, exterior angle where uh, these angles uh, a and b are our opposite uh, interior angles such uh, that this uh, angle c is going to be equal to the sum of these angles uh, a plus uh, b and here we can see this uh, angle is our exterior angle whereas uh, our these two are opposite uh, interior angles so therefore uh, this uh, exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles so therefore we can write this angle alpha plus uh, the other interior angle alpha must be equal to the exterior angle which is uh, 45 degrees so on the left hand side that is going to give us 2 alpha equals to 45 degrees let's divide both sides by 2 this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our tiny angle alpha turns out to be 22.5 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here I have copied down equation 1 over here and we know our angle alpha is 22.5 degrees so i'm going to substitute uh, alpha value 22.5 degrees uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted this uh, alpha value over here and if we add uh, these uh, angles so our x uh, angle value turns out to be 67.5 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x turns out to be 67.5 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye